Hey everybody, Liam here. Obviously you've seen the last few videos from everybody else on the channel, so today you know what I'm going to review, and obviously it says in the title, so let's get down to it. I'm reviewing Synecdoche, New York, written and directed by Charlie Kaufman. Uh, I'll just give you some backstory about me with Charlie Kaufman. Charlie Kaufman has been uh, somebody who I've been really interested in seeing all of his films of in the past, and uh, it's not until recently where I've actually been well, where I've actually seen some of his films, and I've got to say I was blown away by them. My favorite being Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, even though he didn't direct anything except this, which I'll get onto in a moment. I'm talking about the ones he wrote. Favorite one being Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I thought that was fantastic. I thought the director of that, Michelle Gondry, really captured the essence of what Charlie Kaufman would have wanted in the script, uh, and added in some amazing. Uh, some amazing cinematography that uh, also I've seen being John Malkovich which I really really love everybody who was a fan of his writing work and I think he's also written some plays but everybody who was a fan of his writing work was really anticipating this film and before the before uh, before I saw the trailer of this film I hadn't actually seen any of his films I don't think uh, I, I only saw his films after I saw the trailer for this and thought this looks amazing I'm gonna watch his other films first and then um, I watched some of them, loved them, and then I couldn't wait for this. And then ages ago, before it had even been like released, it premiered at some places. I found I found it online, watched it online, and I absolutely adored it. Honestly, it was it was fantastic. I have to say, I'm going to spoil my uh, my opinion about it now. It was fantastic. Seriously, my favorite film of last year, um, without a doubt. The film stars Philip Seymour Hoffman as Caden Cotard. He is a theater director. Who is kind of in a stalemate in his life, and he's really he's really stuck in his place, and he really wants to do something because he feels like he's going to die very soon, and he keeps getting these quite these quite surreal signs um, that he is going to die, and it, it is really sad at that point, and he's like he's like uh, all like uh, depressed and stuff, and he doesn't know what he's doing, and loads of strange things are happening, and he's seeing this man all over the place, and this man kind of like creeps into the camera frame every now and again, and. Like he keeps on going through that, and like his his life, and and so on, and then like, and then like he he, he talk he's talking to his therapist, and he and he realizes that he he should just go on with his life, and he should and he should make a massive theater piece, and he's and he's uh he's doing this, and he's and he well he says he's gonna do this, and he does it, and he he starts making it, and it can, and it becomes his life because he builds the city he lives in, he builds New York inside of a massive um warehouse and it, be it it consumes his life basically it becomes him and he hires actors to play people uh to to play it's very complicated so i might i might like stumble while i'm saying something uh, he hires actors to play people in real life and then it gets onto the uh, and then it gets onto the uh the, the place where it gets to like the actors have in in real life the actors have assistance and in um and in the theater piece the actors are played by actors it's not exactly a race ahead weird where nothing is uh where nothing is able to be um followed there's no where there's no like continuous plot because there is a plot obviously there is an amazing plot it's just a very very um it's just a very very complicated plot uh and I think Charlie Kaufman handles it incredibly well, and he and there's a lot of stuff in it that you think he, that uh, well I thought that um, that he that almost f feels like it could feel like overdone by uh, if it was done by another director or a writer, but with Charlie Kaufman he does it so incredibly well, and he blends it in with the stuff that you the the plot points that you can actually like that you that you're following really well that it just feels so natural and it comes so natural to him and he has an amazing talent for doing something like that because he does it a lot with them um, he did it in he did it with eternal sunshine as well because in eternal sunshine there's a lot of points where um if it was handled by another director it would have been done wrong or if it was handled by another writer it would have been done wrong so I think with throughout his career he's worked with the exact right directors and I think this film is the exact right film for him to start directing with. Uh, that probably made no sense but I'm going to run with it anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, 
I also I, I would also like to mention that this film is incredibly sad. And if you're not following it properly, then it probably wouldn't be. But you should still feel at least something, because it's very it's a very emotional film. And that whole that whole end sequence where he's walking around and everyone's gone and everyone's abandoned, it really feels like a, a like the entire the entire play is like he's made it to structure different points of his life because he didn't have the fulfilling life that he wanted. And I thought that was so fantastic, and I, that's what I thought of it anyway. A lot of people have different opinions, but it was so uh, it was so well done that when when he died at the end, when the the earpiece told him to sit, told him die, that earpiece really felt like some sort of godlike, um, like to him. Well, to him, like it felt like some sort of godlike uh, presence and being. It was. It was just fantastic. I loved every second of it, and I can't recommend it enough. Um, if my if my review sounds anything like um, any other review, any other reviewers' reviews of the film, then I'm I don't know why because I, I haven't watched any reviews. I have to say, uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and come back next week, which is Christmas week. Yay! I don't know what I'm reviewing yet, but still it should be good. So, thanks for watching. Bye.